your body. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I just got a call that I can go pick up a new coral. It's not doing too well in the tank that it's at right now, so we're gonna bring it over to my tank and see if I can rehab it a little bit and bring it back to life. We'll see what happens. Taking a quick look at my dirty tank. Uh, <laughs> it kind of doesn't look too dirty on camera, but if you look over there, you can see how dirty the glass is. Anyway, things are still growing crazy out of control over here. Look at these fire cloves. They just started opening up. They look so good. Everything is looking good. The mushroom is splitting again. That other one over there is humongous. Look at this. Look how big this mushroom is. Crazy, crazy big. Frag rack, cutting down a little bit, but we still got a good number of pieces on there. And update on the scully. It is doing a little bit better. It still has that little piece receding, but it seems to be fluffing up again. I've boosted up the feeding a little bit more, just to kind of give it a little bit more shazam and that seems to be helping. I still have yet to catch the tentacles out on the uh, scully, which is crazy. So this new piece that I'm picking up is a torch. Torches tend to not do so well in my tank, but I think it's only because they fall off and then they fall into the sand bed. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I don't wanna put it, I was thinking over there by the hammer, but I figured I'll just keep that kind of hammer vibe. So I'm thinking, I don't know, because I think this is going to be too much too much wind power for it here. I don't really see another spot that it can go is the problem. So we're going to have to figure, figure this out when we pick it up. But yeah, I guess let's go see what we got. Let's go. What a beautiful day for some new coral. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm from John. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've come to pick up my rehab coral that Jason's got for me. It's been a while since we've checked out this tank over here. Wowza, that's all I can say. Yeah, overgrown. Oh, it is very overgrown. Like, look at this massive colony right here of frog spawn. Not only this one, but then you have this one, and this one, and this one. This and look at the torch mountains. Crazy. Look at that. Yeah, everything, there's nothing really tiny in your tank. Everything is just massive scaled. Yeah. Like, look at these. These were even frags that he had to sell, and they didn't sell, and now they're like colonies. Yeah. Like, they were, that's crazy. They grow so, it's pretty insane how some things just grow, like, good in your tank. The issue I'm having now is my mushrooms used to be big, beautiful. Now they're shrinking, and I'm losing some of them. They're melting. Have you been checking your levels? Like, calcium? <clears throat> I think that doesn't know. No. <laughs> okay. Are you still dosing? Have you checked your doser's yeah, working? Doses, everything's working. I should probably add some. Get in there. But I have to fill this thing up like every two weeks. Yikes. At full? Yeah. How much do you dose? A lot. I would check your levels. Which one's phosphates? Calcium. Calcium and I'll, I learned. Uh, softy. I learned recently that high magnesium leads to lower calcium. I believe. No. Yeah. I don't remember exactly what it was, but my calcium, my magnesium was at like 1600. And somebody said, raise your calcium and it will lower your magnesium. Really? Yes, really, because I listen. I haven't retested it to check if that theory actually worked, but I did bump up my calcium, so. So you don't know if it worked? I don't know if it worked yet, but multiple people said to do that. So that's what I did. All right, anyway, the coral that I'm coming to rehab is this one, although Torches don't tend to do great in my tank, but Let we're going to try. Glasses. Yeah, that's a good idea. This is this is what we come over. Look at this. You can't even see, you can't even see the fish in there. Oh, oh you're risky. Me, uh, you're risky. You what? put that thing on the on the corner of this seal. Oh no. No, I left it off. I think you're gonna have to scrape a lot to use that thing. Oh yeah. So if you can see, I just lost two heads of this. I think this is, there's nowhere else to put it. In the par level down here was like 40 to 60. So I think it's not getting enough, enough light. I have no idea where I'm gonna put this yet. Um, are you gonna cut off the rest of those stocks for me or no, what? No, you're gonna do that. Oh, lovely. Best for you to continue the video at your house. <laughs> oh man, I'll probably cut it right there. Can you see it now? Yeah, that's good. So this is gonna be our little rehab piece. Ooh, that's a pretty rast you got back there. Yeah, he's Christmas rast. Ooh, and look at our boy Kobe. Oh, Millenarsis. Right. For those of you guys that don't know, that purple tang was my purple tang that I got with my Red Sea when I first got it and I didn't want to put him in there because he was too big. Look at him though, 
He's a crazy pretty boy. More colonies over here. It's just out of control. This thing's growing really good. What else do we got? We got a uh, Space Invader Pectina just laying on the floor here because apparently that's what... Right, okay. It was over there and the torture thing in it, so I tried to move it over But here. is it falling over or that's how yeah, it is? It's going to grow. Okay. If you say so. Hey, if you want to make another video and come and organize and Organize? Trim it, and... It's like you can't even organize this. It's, you have to trim. You know what we could do? It's like I could trim it, but there's nowhere to put it. You know what trims. we could do? Right here. A little frag tank would look good. I don't know, we gotta convince some people, but I'll come over, set up the frag tank one one time, and then we'll trim all this back. And, and I could supply, fire. yeah, make, w between my overgrowth in, your, in my tank and your overgrowth, this frag tank would be completely full. Cool. And then on top of that, I'll supply some new coral pieces. Look at this, perfect little, yeah, like yeah, this. Yeah. No, that's already too close to the door, and you'd walk in and, oh, well, maybe because it's away. He still hasn't gotten a reef link, which I also think... I can't find one. They're <sighs> but it's not even like the growth, because everything's growing. It's just the colors. I need more light. I need more far. Don't you, aren't you running T5s and... You don't you run know, the T5s I anymore? I new ones, so uh, I haven't put them on. I don't know. I just feel like we need some, we need some, like, some, like, bright oranges. Unless you like it all green. Do you like it all green? It's very green. I don't want to spend any money. I hear you. Lucky for you, I have a whole stock of bright, colorful corals that I could hand over. But I just don't want to hand them over if they're not going to be taken care of. It's like the the center's turned white. I don't know. If you guys know, drop a comment down below. Let us know what's up. Also, this would be a good time for you guys to hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications on. New fish videos every single week. All right, you going to get the uh, coral rehab or what? A little to the right. A little to the right. Oh, and close. Pull up. Look at the freaking stem on that thing. That was a nice, that was a nice catch. Get all the bugs off. There, I got no bugs. Like not this guy, obviously. Oh, there it goes. Oh, nice cut. One, one smooth. You're doing good. That one right there, y'all. Oh, still so much. I think that one's gotta stay. I think that's safe. It's too close. What about just cutting straight off, cutting lower, lower, lower? You know, like little by little. You have a brace like that? Yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. A little more manageable? I think that's, yeah, that should be pretty good. Hey, new coral on the way. Hi buddy, taking you home. You got it? Mm -hmm. Bye, Scooby-Doo. Thank Bye -bye. you. Take care of him. Woo, buddy. Let's go. And we are back. First thing is first, we have to temp acclimate this guy into the Red Sea Max 250. Drop it in right. Woo. Just pinch this guy under here a little bit, you know? He is super ticked off right now, but I just literally don't know where I could put it. I could move this in maybe a little bit, and then I could put it on right on this ledge because it's got like that flat bottom where, uh, where we cut it at. That could work, but then it's gonna be like, I don't know, it's gonna be flapping in there. I don't know that I like that. I really don't see another spot for it. Like, because I'm trying to think too of the tentacles. Like, I don't want that to be stinging something else, so it's kind of difficult on where to put it. That's the only little open ledge that I have in that corner. Even if I do decide to put it behind that hammer, like over here, there's not really much light there, so. I don't know that that would work. Clearly, I can't put it anywhere here because this is just straight coral. What if I do it like sticking out of that hole right there? But that, I feel like they, I could try that, but it might swing and start, you know, messing with this guy, which I don't want because look how cool that looks. And it's about to cover that whole rock too, which is so sick. I didn't really think the placement of this coral through very well. Um, and I'm not really sure how I can continuously get movement in my tank because I love pieces that move, but there's, the space is just very, very limited. Like, I think we gotta upgrade. All right, it's game time. I think I'm gonna stick it right where that conch is. Come here, buddy. You guys know me and the gloves. Gotta stay protected here. Jiggle, jiggle all this stuff out. Ah, I don't know what to do with this thing. Try to lean it up against the rock like that. 
That's actually not too shabby. Ooh, look at him moving already. He's just gotta get fluffier so he covers the dead one in the back. But, the, I don't know if it's gonna be enough light. We'll have to keep an eye on him. If anything, it's a little step in acclimating him up higher that I might have to put him on this ledge where I had him before, but I'd have to glue it down and I don't have any glue right now. So this is where he's gonna have to chill for a bit. Hopefully he thrives. Also check it out, Sino's not too bad right now. Conk's doing a decent job. We still got little patches, but for being, uh, I think, I think I'm like 10 day, no, what is today, Friday? Yeah, I'm like 10 days in on water change, so almost the full two weeks, and we got a little patch here and a little patch here. So definitely he's getting settled in and doing some work. We gotta get a name for the conk. You guys were dropping some of the names of your conks in one of my recent videos, and you guys have awesome names. So help me out, what should we name Mr. Conk? Drop some name suggestions in the comments. Hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on. We got new fish videos every single week. I will keep you up to date on the rehab of the torch. Hopefully he gets all fluffy and loves life in here and we could keep him alive. That's obviously the goal here. Uh, don't forget Skelly Fest September 24th in Miami, Florida, the Ultimate Aquatic Expo. You guys do not want to miss it. Tickets are only $12 online right now. I will drop a link in the description. You guys don't want to miss it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Later.